Hi, friends. Welcome to 30 Inks, 30 Days, June 2024, the wrap up. We made it. Thanks, y'all, for being with me, for being supportive, for being wonderful. I'm celebrating. It wasn't 30 drinks, but here's a drink. Cherry margarita. Oh, yeah, that's good. I had cherries. There were a lot more earlier, but then I was delayed filming, so I ate cherries. So, here's the inks that we saw in reverse order. Look at them. Shall we try and do a flip? Let's see. Shuffle, ripple. Pretty. Look at our spread in here. See them all at a glance. I still haven't written at the top. I had thoughts on how I was going to do that. I took notes on this paper. This is Aeroful. So I wrote with every pen on, um, this is uh, Tamoa River. It's probably Sanzen, actually. Uh, 52 GSM. It's weeks. I think this might be actual Tamoa River paper. Uh, 52 GSM. My Hobonichi Weeks. This is cream, though. The other is white. And I wrote on some 68 GSM. I was transcribing several short stories by Agatha Christie. Oh, look at that. Straight to Mordor, am I right? Some of you will know what I'm talking about if you watch. Um, interestingly, I thought I'd show off Royal Starfish. Not much sheen. But I now have thoughts about everything. Well, I always had thoughts about everything, right? Um, so what I'll do, first I'm going to lay them out just like this. And I think for me, also, I asked some of you if you saw themes, obviously. Rainbow. But then we had bi flag, more or less trans flag, more or less ace flag. Hope you appreciate slash love it. Uh, happy pride. Well, pride's over now. But I was happy at the time. Oh, also check out these pants. My partner, I think he kind of hates them. I don't care. I love them. I made them. Um, oh, and this. I did this. I didn't wait to do this with you. I was too excited. It was, it was great. Um, okay. So I have a few ways of like picking my favorites. If we just, some of them, I just go, what color ink, regardless of how it writes, just plain color. Claret. Absolutely. Love it. Love it. Love it. Psychedelic or psychelic or psychedelic. Take your preference. Magenta. Love it. Pride. Gorgeous. Uh, well, Joe Girl. <laughs> Eau de Nil. Fantastic. I like OG Cherry or number 30 OG Cherry quite a lot. Lust. Havasu Turquoise. I mean, I didn't really dislike any of these as colors. I suppose Greed does not. This is a... Uh, if I have a least favorite, it's probably greed. And I dislike that this is called pink. <laughs> so there's that. But my top three writing experiences were these. This, my brand new Visconti, lovely, already no ink left because I wrote all of it till it's gone. Admittedly, it didn't have as much in there, but I loved this. And if I didn't have an obscene number of pins inked right now, I would ink this again. Um, my new Bennu in the rose tea with claret in it, still absolutely loved this experience. And I don't know how much ink is left in here. Yeah, a fair amount. 
I'm going to be leaving it ink, inked and writing it dry because, I mean, it's gorgeous. And my other top, so these are my top three. I forced myself to come up with three. I mean, if I was going to struggle with five, I'd have done five. But and the other was my little pin designs, Burton in Abalone Sparkle. I looked it up with ash so ash as a color wasn't a favorite but i really liked this writing experience a lot um oh uh, it's which is good because there's a lot of ink left for me to use uh my current decision was actually to leave quite a lot of these with ink still in them because it for i'll say this though asterisk some of them i'll just leave inked I'll write with them one or two more times and then I'll have had enough, to be frank. My honorable mentions, I made five of them, were these five. Let's see if I remember off the top of my head. This one is a Wall Town Lumley in a color Earth, maybe something other. I don't remember the name of it. I probably wrote it down somewhere, but it's gone again is this was cat yeah i love it it says um not much left we'll use it up you can see i had to push down the piston um maybe a standout not much shimmer on show so great but then again not much shimmer another one walltown catchburg this one had pride has pride in it really liked that was taking notes for a game with it when i was streaming it was great made my game notes very pleasing this one is this would you cherry yeah this is cherry um i love this i felt like it was um maybe what diamond pink wanted to be I'll leaving I'll leave lots of ink left. I'll leave this one ink. I do like this better. It is a less lubricated ink, and I liked it a lot more on the Tomorrow River paper than I did on the Eero full. So less of a win on that. If because I feel like the marshmallowy texture of Eero full makes it you feel more drag. Then was this psychedelic magenta? Let's see. because I didn't write the pin down for this one. Well, look, I love that I'm just trying to go off of memory. I, in fact, I'm right. This was Psychedelic Magenta. Of course I'm leaving this inked because I have, this is a sample and I'm not gonna get more of it. Well, I mean, I could probably ask for more of it. Anyway, I liked this. Uh, a lot. It's really vibrant. I like it on the white paper more. Um, I like the combo on all papers. My last honorable mention was my Newton Pins Prospector. I think this had Sakura. Yeah, this has Sailor Shikiori Sakura Mori. Um, nice on all paper. I thought it had gotten darker with after sitting. You can see there's not much left, but I will use it up because it, why not? Although <laughs> I'm back into my, I only want broad nibs phase <laughs> because I was using it a medium nib. Like, why is this writing so skinny? It's awful. <laughs> so these were my standouts. These three and these five honorable mentions. I do have some negative standouts. We'll mention that. Top of the list is probably Violets Are Blue in my Twisby Mini. Awful. Dumped it. I mean, you know, I emptied the pen. I wouldn't say I dumped it. Um, basically, the sh I wrote this. The shimmer is much like eyeshadow, and the pen was not a good match. So it kept clogging. I need... I. I think I need to look at the pen. There might be an actual problem with it. Um, the 
Urban with Merlot. I do not like that Urban pen. Um, I'm gonna see what I can do to address it. I, I changed, you know, I tweaked the nib a little. I might do more with it, but it was fine. Um, there was there was not a lot left. It is empty now. Uh, what other one did I write that I didn't like? Let's see. Oh, my golden barrel. Um, and the Twisby Go is awful. It kept clogging and there was just too much shimmer. So I love that ink for special purposes, but not for like letter writing. Um, oh, maybe the worst one was the Chokuro in that Ototaske. The pen was just, no, I, I, yeah, it was bad. <laughs> so I might get rid of the pen or I might try to replace the nib. Uh, if I have a nib that works, uh, I will probably do that because I don't want to buy a nib for a pen that I don't love. So those are the standouts, the positives, the negatives, all the other ones still, still in here. Oh, you know what? This one wasn't super positive. I did, if you remember... The cap had a was a little difficult to screw on. I noticed that one of the threads was standing a little bit proud. I have these really tiny files and I filed it down a little. It's gotten better. I think I'm realizing that the um, KWZ inks might be kind of not very flowy. So the gummy berry just, it felt like it was fighting me and didn't want to come out of the pen, which was sad. The... Um, this friendo, my Monte Grappa, uh, is a pretty dry writer, but it worked well with Red Dragon. So that's good for me to know because, you know, gluttony, glorious, glorious. Not my color, but, you know, glorious. I love my 3776. Three, three, I don't love how small the nib is. And I felt sad about that. But let's see. Real quick. If you want to pause, you can try and read. So the Royal Starfish, I liked it more on Tomoa River, but I'm more used to that paper now, and it felt a bit... Uh, I thought it was maybe more viscous, so saturated, and it didn't flow, which I've found kind of frequently with this really sheeny ones. Leaving it inked. Midnight. Well, some of you thought that, that like maybe it seemed like some people thought maybe I had mixed up the inks, etc. I have something to show you. Let me grab it. Okay. I haven't been good at keeping up with this, but in here I have been for all the bottles I own, I was supposed to be like, every time I wrote the pen, I would write in here so I could see what it looked like, how it compared, etc. Well, look to Mordor. Um, Oh, and talk about just wanting, like, <laughs> right on the wrong page. Wrong page. I was very frustrated with myself. Um, okay. Here it is. I hope that's coming across as obvious on the camera that these are two different colors. This... Is Midnight is very much like Witch by Starlight. This new color it is here is more like Eroded Bronze. It's just wild. Um, the other ink that I had that had lost its color was another Indigo. So I suspect something happened with a batch of Indigo where maybe the molecules broke down and thus changed color. Who knows? I'm not a chemist. Uh, well, who knows? Probably a chemist knows. Uh, anyway, I wrote well. It wrote well. I'm leaving it inked. I don't suspect that the ink is super problematic, but I did uh, put it in a Twisby that's replaceable. The Odinil Visconti. This was love. Um, <laughs> Spirit. I like the shading, which ma makes it better for printing. L leaving it inked. Grapefruit. 
felt dry. So the two KWZ inks both felt dry, which is like meh. The Vista, it might be the nib. It's one of the black ones, the size medium. I might get a left-handed in silver. My only left-hand nib is in uh, black. Let's see, let's see if that matters. Um, oh yeah, then might the 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 Monte Grappa might need some nib adjustment. It felt like a little scratchy in one direction. That's fine. Um, leaving inked for now with the gummy berry little pen designs. We'll see. Ash, I talked about that being awesome. Havasu turquoise, almost written dry. Um, I don't like the sport for longer writing sessions, but this was really nice. Um, and I might do a head to head. So look for that. Might do July or August, a head to head of all my inks that are basically this color. There's too many of them. Floating cloud in a sport. Really liked it. Sport, still better for notes or outlines. <laughs> Not longer writing, leaving it inked. Talked about the, that one, that one, that one. I love that. Oh, I loved this. <laughs> um, maybe what Diamond Pink wanted to be. Yamabudo, second time I've done this combo, apparently. Good, but I might prefer it in an M. Crazy, right? Leaving it inked at least a month. Uh, Schrodinger, this is fine. Less broad than I'd expect from a German pen. A bit drier, less flowy. Uh, will empty, not much anyway. That's right, I emptied that cat. We talked about Jubilee. Um, in my Miwok, this is fine, but basic. Not an un not an exciting purple, unremarkable dumping. <laughs> Clear it, Benu. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Pride Catsburg, great combo. It's nice after getting darker too. We'll use a couple times then clean because shimmer, right? I don't want to leave the shimmer sitting in that pen. Same with the cat in the other, uh, um, in the other wall town. Sloth and Perkeo, this is nice. Just like the many similar ones, right? It's well, not sticky. Not too much sheen, good combo, leaving an ink. Less than the 3776. I like this more in theory with a fine line. Wait, I should use a more bold ink. Not great on Eero Full for me. In the, like the ink and even the combination, but this dried out. We'll use more, but clean soon. A bit meh for long term. Look at this gluttony. Can you see how shiny it is? So great. Orange is not my color, but this is a good one. Writes well, nice shimmer, leaving it inked. Wrath, Percale. Remember when I thought I'd reuse pens? This was a nice combo. Didn't love shimmer and Percale, but it was okay already cleaned. Psychedelic, magenta. Shame I can't get more because it's great, but I don't need it anyway. Love the combo on all papers. Pink, this isn't pink. So that's a thing. Didn't totally dry out. A surprise, but a nice one. Good on all papers. We'll leave ink. And then the last one, Greed. And my X750. Ha, forgot I inked this. It is better than I expected, and I will totally put shimmer in this pen again. Not much left. We'll clean it. Which I did. So that was my more in-depth talk over all the pens. Kind of a fast and dirty thing. Mm. That's good, y'all. Mm, cherry. So we'll come over here and I'll just do a slow flip through. Um, warning, if you read this, there will be spoilers. So pink, not pink, diamine pink, psychedelic, look it's spelled correctly, magenta. Wrath, I'll say this. I don't see much shimmer on the page. Though I do for gluttony. Greed. Oh, also I've learned I don't love Tomorrow 68. 
it's all right. I kept wishing it was something else. Envy. This reminds me of, a, what was that called? Black Ivy from Inkvent 2021. I don't think it's the same, but it reminded me of it. Lust. Sloth. God, I feel like there's a fly, sorry. Pride. Beautiful. Lovely, lovely. Claret. Big heart. Big heart. Now here's where we get spoilery because it says it is suggested that the reader pause in his perusal of the story at this point, make his own solution of the mystery, and then see how close he comes to that of the author. All the editor wrote that, and I'll note that of course the editor thought it was men that would be reading. <laughs> women would be too busy doing womanly things like I don't know needlepoint. Uh, Platinum Jubilee Purple. Cat. Almost no shimmer here. Bummer. Schrodinger. Merlot. So then I was like, do I do that? So I wrote the next page with it as well. Yamabudo. This is a new story. Number 30. OG Cherry. This was a bit meh at times. I'm seeing that. I think you know, my finger oils were on here a lot. Violets are blue. Again, having issues at the bottom. It was better when it was super juicy from having sat for a little. Or having been recently. Sailor Shikiori Sakura Mori. Wearing Ghoul Floating Cloud. I liked that these wound up next to each other so you can see the difference. They're both lovely. This one's slightly cooler. No, it's slightly warmer. Havasu Turquoise, Chokuro, this was just pain. Ash from Inkvent 2021, Gummy Berry, Red Dragon, Grapefruit, Golden Barrel, <laughs> like, <laughs> it's so shiny. Spirit, Jap Winked. Fort Nicole Nato. Eau de Nil. Midnight. And Royal Starfish. Um, so that's been the month. I'm feeling well pleased about this. I can't wait to do more of them. Although, <laughs> what I'm going to have to do is because i'm putting them all alphabetically shuffle them down as i make them or as i get new inks fortunately since i'm only doing bottles it should not be very frequently that i'm having to shuffle because i don't need that many bottles of ink although i have two of these <laughs> Kim maria and uh three boxes of cards so who knows Maybe I'll end up doing it with samples. But, ugh. This was, this was really fun to look through for me. I love seeing the little kitty. This is just such a good color. Ugh, yes. And look how dark Earl Grey looks. That's funky. Earl Grey is kind of a chameleon. Here has been the month. This was 30 inks. So I'm curious, did you have a favorite? If you, I mean, obviously you didn't write with any of these, unless you did. If you wrote with any of these, let me know. Like, I mean, even the pin combo. Um, just curious, because like, you know, I had a lot of fun um, and strangely looking forward to it. Usually at the end, I'm like, Ugh, I'm done. But I didn't even, I, I get the 
videos, it's not that bad to make them, except for that I don't have a dedicated space anymore. And so finding the time and um, to take up this, I'm right in front of the TV, has been difficult. Um, you'll be glad to know that I beat Tears of the Kingdom. That's a thing I also accomplished. How? I mean, how did I even have time in all my video writing schedule? I don't know. Um, I'm sure you just easily move this. That's a thing that'll happen well, right? Just go over there. Go over there, inks. Oh, perfect, perfect, perfect. Anyway, look, it's me. Let's be real. We're not expecting perfection. So, cheers. I hope whenever you're watching this, you're having a wonderful day. Take care of yourselves. Bye.